Yes, what's going on? Happy Thursday. I am your host, Nancy Baker, and I'm back with another Thursday Night Live. Every Thursday, we're here at this... Well, not at this time, but at at the Thursday little day. And we've got, we've got Tiggy Gent joining us today. She's just come in, so let's see how long it takes her to get into it. I'll send her an invite. She's already sent one. But let's see how quick she gets in. Yes, friend. That was easy, that. <laughs> I told you. I sent you the little voice note before. I was like, Tiggy, do you know how to get in? Are you going to be all right? <laughs> no, it just came up there. I just had to press accept, so it was all right. Nice and easy. How's your day been? Been busy, you know. It's been a busy day. Just got in about half an hour ago, so. So, got... so we got a right time in the end because we were we were trying to find a good time to make sure that that you yeah. weren't in too late and that it weren't gonna run over with your schedule. So luckily we uh no, we hit the it nail on the head. <laughs> so yeah. how's your day been today? What have you been up to? I went to college this morning until about yeah. twelve and then I went to rehab because I'm injured till about four ish. And then yeah, came home at about it took about an hour and a bit to get home. So I got home at about quarter past six. It takes you an I hour think... and a bit to get home. Is that yeah, every it... time you're at training? Can be longer if I get the train, but um, I got a lift, luckily. And yeah, we got stuck in a bit of traffic, so. So it where are you based? Like, like Preston area, but a bit more like, not in centre of Preston, just a bit outside of it. Okay, makes sense. So you do that travelling like every day? I'm guessing your college is in Preston though, no? No, no, it's in Manchester, but it's like next door to our train, so it's all right. Okay, that's handy then. At least you're not having to do like a your day can sort of get out of bed, get to where you need to be, go to college, then go to where you need to go, and it's it's all in one area, and you don't have to do loads that's of traveling throughout the day. Yeah, that's why I did it really, because like once I'm there, I'm just it's just all there. Do you know what I mean? It's not like I have yeah. to do any more traveling, so I just get it out the way. <laughs> do you prefer being in Manchester than in than in Preston? Is there more to do? Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so much more. Like, even. <laughs> Even with like shops and you know like food, it's just you got so much more option. So what what's the best thing about Preston and what's the best thing about Manchester? <laughs> <laughs> I don't really think there's a best thing about Preston to be honest. Um, <laughs> there's nothing really I could say, um, but <laughs> probably Manchester just the shopping and where to go for food and shopping, shopping and food. We're definitely we're definitely get onto them two topics before we get started. <laughs> For anyone who doesn't know who you are, can you just give a little introduction of yourself? And then after that, I want you to describe yourself as a player in three words. All right, all right. So I'm Tiggy Jen and I play for Manchester City. Um, and I'm 17 years old. Three words that describe me as a footballer is, I'd say I'm energetic, like I love yeah. to run. Um, At attacking minded and I like okay. to be creative and yeah I just... you're just throwing all the words out there attacking, <laughs> attacking minded creative energetic just just all the good stuff really everything everything you need in in life to be to be a there's no bad stuff no one's got any bad stuff it's all good stuff here <laughs> but yeah so that's how I describe myself wicked love that what what are you studying at college sport and performance so it's just so it's very yeah. much intact with what you're doing and where you yeah. want to go in life definitely yeah so it's, it's not bad what's your favorite like I'm guessing it's like broken up into subjects as in what you're studying what's your favorite topic to study um I'd say practical is my best bit but um I don't actually know probably like media but we don't really do that Oh, no, okay. I don't know. I don't really have a favourite one to be honest. I'm getting a bit bored of sport and performance. When I did, um, when I did, this was a while back, obviously, because I'm a bit older than you. When I was at a uh, college and sixth form in school, I did. I studied PE as well, and literally everyone just used to be like, "Don't you just run about?" And I was <laughs> like, "No, we actually have to do like oh. some stuff where it's on paper and we're learning and stuff." Yeah, honestly, today I had to hand in an assignment, and I'm not even joking. Probably like the longest time I've ever done it. Turned out I ended up doing like 23 pages. Had wow. to be in by four o'clock. So this morning I was literally just typing as much as I could. 
um, but now it's in so I feel relaxed. Isn't it one of the best feelings when you hand in an assignment though and you're like yes it's done it's just like you get to relax don't you? Yeah when you press submit that's it you can just chill for a bit until you get your next one. <laughs> Love that. Someone's just said on here sorry I've just seen it someone's just said it would be helpful if I introduce myself. I actually did introduce myself at the start of the live but for anyone that doesn't know and if you've just joined I'm Nancy Baker I'm the host and we've got Tiggy Jen who is at Manchester City and she's also a young lioness that is who is on the chat today just for anyone who did miss this and has just jumped in so Tiggy talk to me when you are on a day off you get to relax you get to rest what is your go-to meal where where are you choosing to go for something to eat what are you choosing to have what's on your plate on my day off go you put me on the spot here um <laughs> probably Nando's but, Love that. I get a bit, but sometimes you can get a bit bored of it, you know, if you know it too much. Okay, um, but you've got to drop the order. Now that you've said it, you've got to tell us what you what you get and we're everyone in the comments is gonna gonna rate what you what you said now, so there's a little bit right. of pressure here. <laughs> so I get chicken butterfly. Yeah, what spice? Oh, is it butterfly chicken? I said it wrong way around. It's the it's the same thing. We we got right, you, okay. we got you. <laughs> um, medium. Yep. With garlic bread. Yep and rice i used yep. to get chips but yeah i used to get peristal chips but i changed it okay but they're healthier and i <laughs> now get rice i've been getting it for the last like year so that's what i get all right that's that's a decent order i'll give you that i was i was a bit worried there when i said the spice and i was like well what's she gonna go for what's i used to go for? i used to do lemon and herb as well but not oh anymore. but you've leveled up now yeah <laughs> <laughs> we are right <laughs> i love that so We've obviously said that you're currently injured. How is your rehab going? Just nice and quickly in in like one sentence. How's things? Because a lot of people have asked, but I just want to quickly ask it and then we move on to the fun stuff. It's going really well, to be honest. Um, every day gets easier. Wicked. With, yeah. And there's more exercise they're getting added in. And yeah, and Wicked. hopefully soon I should be on the LTG, so... We're heading in the right direction. Wicked. Love that. Because a lot of people have obviously asked, so I think it's important that we just check in and then we get that out of the way and, and we move on. So yeah, also well, what I uh, found quite funny and I was actually cracking up about it earlier. So we planned this live and when we planned the time, we said seven o'clock and, bo and both of us literally was like, yeah, that's great. Because then we get to watch England versus Canada after. Like yeah, we timed yeah. it like absolutely perfect. Well, you confused me with the, is it CET? Yeah. Central, yeah. I was like, you're saying, you're saying seven o'clock and then putting the post on and then it was, it says eight o'clock. I'm like, whoa, we need to take it down. <laughs> don't worry. No, don't worry. A lot, a lot of people do get confused with that. When I, when I first had to start doing it as well, I was like, what is this? Am I doing it right? Am I doing it wrong? But we do it so we get all, we mark all the, all the correct time zones, but Talking about England versus Canada tonight, I'm guessing you're going to be watching the game on yeah, after, we'll after we jump on yeah. on this. I definitely will. Who who are you looking forward to watching and to seeing play? Is there any players that you sort of look up to or think I want to see what she's doing to see if I can I can adapt and take that into my game as well? Yeah, definitely. I like to watch Lauren Hemp. I think she's a good player. Um, I think just the way she attacks and like yeah. the speed that she has and how she drives at players. So I think she's an exciting player to watch. Love that. Do you go to games as well? Do you go and watch a lot of games when you can? If yeah. You're on, obviously, when you're, when you're not playing and stuff like that. Yeah, definitely. I try to. Um, I think it's always good to be there live as well. But then it is good as well just watching it at home because you can rewind it. And But yeah, I do like to go and watch the games. Love that. How often would you say that, that you go when you're you're able to, so around your schedule? Would you try and go as much as possible or do you sort of adapt, as you say, sitting at home and watching it so you can rewind it and see different books and bobs or is it, nah, I need to be at every game and be there as much as possible? Well, to be honest, with like my travelling and going down to Manchester pretty much six yeah. days a week and tend to go from Monday to Saturday, the yeah. women normally play more Sundays if they're at home so it is kind of hard. you know like going down again because I don't get a day off yeah so, yeah if sometimes it depends if I'm around rehab as well and like it's literally I'll plan it around so I can go on after yeah but, yeah so if it's on a Sunday I tend to watch it 
at home. But I did go to the United game last Sunday, to be fair. But I was in Manchester, so it worked well. Can't beat a Manchester derby, can you? You can't. It was a good game, very good game. It was, it was, a, it was an excellent game. Um, so when you were growing up and you you first started getting into football, how did it all come about? Was was there anyone that inspired you? Was it like your parents? Was it your friends? Was it being in school? Or was it just something that was always constant in your life? No, it wasn't. So I was, I used to dance in until I was about nine. But okay. I had three older brothers, so I used to watch them, you know, like kick the ball around in the garden. And yeah. They all used to play football, so they inspired me, really. And when I was in primary school around, like, year five, six, I used to play in the schoolyard with the lads. And yeah. it went from there, really. Um, yeah, that's how it happened. So, with your brothers, when you played with them, did you get... Did they used to make you go in goal or did you used to play outfield with them? No, they used to chuck me in the goal. Um, no? And they used to try and do, you know, 1v1. They still do that now. They think they love me, but I think I'll have them all now. <laughs> you think you'll have... I love that. That's the confidence that you need. When you're like... When someone says to you, you're a good footballer, you just say, like, you say you're the best. Like, that's how it's got to be, I think. No, I, didn't, I had a kickabout with them not long ago. And yeah, I think... You you surpassed them now. You you're past their level. I am, yeah. Are they are they a lot older than you? They're all in the twenties, so yeah. Do they make yeah. the do they make the excuse of oh we're a bit older and you're younger, so you've got the advantage <laughs> of being young? Yeah, I can see my brother commenting in the uh, live now. <laughs> <laughs> As he, he he's gonna get get on you later and be like, I can't believe you just said that. <laughs> oh. oh, I thought so, I'd just throw it in. To be fair, right, you've got to respect it. As we said, you've got to, you've got to always claim that you're, best this, that you're the best. If you have that mentality, then it's only going to become true, right? Yeah, you've got to back yourself. 100%. So um, also, also you've, you've said that you've played for a while. You've been involved in like the academy setups and you've been here, there, everywhere playing. Is there any players that you've played with since you were younger and you've, like, you're still in contact with or you still play with or you're still, like in contact with and you're having those sort of relationships with them and you've grown up together and you're you're in the same space is there anyone that comes to mind yeah definitely there's been a lot of players that I've you know because I've been in different clubs and especially yeah. like England and the age groups there and before I was with like the FA England I was with the England school so I met quite a few girls there as well when I was younger um but my first team that I played at was Burnley and there was a yeah. girl there called Alyssa and we are still in like the England team together now, but oh, I haven't nice. seen her in a while because of my injury. But yeah, yeah. so we've like gone through. We did um, Burnley, Lancashire, Academy Juniors, United, yeah. and then England. So oh, I've probably wow. gone through the ages with her really. Oh, that's wicked! How nice is it when you're on camps and stuff, or when you're at teams, that you have someone that you've grown up with and you sort of have them in as like a check-in and someone who's like always kind of by your side. How is that important for you? Does it make you feel a bit at ease and stuff when you when you're in that environment? Yeah, it's good. Like, I've, it's always better when you know someone. Um, yeah. And I think when you do know someone, you can gel with like the group more and get to know everyone else. So yeah, it's been it's always been good. Definitely. And talking about different groups and having loads of girls around you when you're playing football obviously you're all in the same team I'm gonna ask you a few teammate questions so you're gonna you're gonna be put on the spot here with a cup with a oh, couple of God. questions all right we go <laughs> we go easy we start easy so we're in pressure now <laughs> <laughs> we start easy who is if you had to ring someone up and they would answer their phone every single time to you who are you gonna ring up Alicia all right she's got you every time yeah yeah yeah. If you hand over your phone to someone and you say you're the DJ in the changing room today, who are you giving your phone? Me. <laughs> you're taking. You're taking DJ. Yeah. Yeah. I do Ooh, that. Big responsibility. Yeah. If I'd... if you had to pass it on though, who gets the who gets the the second call up? Who's second best DJ? I don't actually know. You know. I'm trying to think. I mean, in the gym now, like. Us in rehab, we just switch, you know, like with who's on, depending, all, all of our phones are like nearly dead anyway by the end of the day, but um, yeah, it just depends. No, I don't, 
I don't know who I'd pass it to. What sort of music do you play? Is it is it a proper mix? Is it like R and B? Is it old school? Is it oh, is it like I'll, funky music? Is it? I've got a proper mix, um, but I think when I'm in the gym, I'll try and keep it, you know, very upbeat. But I think at home it can go from like DBE to Celine Dion. <laughs> <laughs> so like, it's that. a big Just, mix yeah big mix of music i love that who is the best dressed so we're gonna go for uh we we'll go for the your city team so when we're talking about who you're gonna pick now we're gonna go for the tiggy loves s club do you love s club seven yeah i do actually i yeah. i love s club seven i rate that yeah i like that who's your favorite member i don't know the numbers <laughs> I don't know. You just like the songs. You don't. You don't know the members. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> All right, back to back to who. I, didn't, you I don't even know how many there is. S Club, S -Club seven. Oh, seven. seven members. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> S Club Seven. How many members? Just just the seven. <laughs> to be fair, a couple of them they did go from S Club Seven to S Club. So I'll let you off there. What can I don't even know if they're still about. To be fair. But um yeah anyway back <laughs> back to it when we're talking about um who you're gonna like give it to and who's gonna get, like if I say best dressed on a team you can't say yourself right okay who are you giving it to probably Ella Furlong nice if she's seen me she'd be happy I've said that <laughs> but you do love your fashion right so I'm guessing you're gonna put yourself up there as well with the top spot yeah I would like to think so. When you're getting ready to, like, go out on a day out, what's your go-to outfit? Say you're going for, like, a coffee with your mates. What's your go-to? Probably just, like, a two-piece tracksuit or something. Love that. Like, tracksuit gang. Color. Yeah, just, like, a matching one. I like to make sure my colours are coordinate, you know. I've got to, And then my shoes have got to match. And sometimes I don't wear a little cap. Yeah, See, for me, I could literally just be, like, everyday tracksuit. I love tracksuits. Yeah, that, like every day I go to college, that's where I track to. Like, I haven't I just think... bought jeans or anything in ages. Uh, for me, if I put a pair of jeans on, I literally tell my mates and I'll be like, I've made an effort today, I've got a pair of jeans on, like, you better appreciate this. Yeah. No, I, you can't beat a tracksuit, it's so comfy. 100%. Who in the changing room is the funniest? Who are you going to if you're having a bit of a down day or you need someone to cheer you up? Who are you going to? Ah, someone's literally just said who's the funniest. But yeah, who is the funniest? Do you know that's actually, like, obviously I have funny members in the team, but we haven't, we've said to because of COVID, we haven't been in a change room for ages. So, like, with matches and stuff, we've had to turn up, you know, in, like, our tracksuits of our stuff on yeah. the um, well, It's been, like, ages since we've, like, been in the change room environment. Do, do you miss it? Yeah, because, like, even with the music, you know, we don't have that before a game. and But, yeah, definitely miss it. Especially with being injured as well, like yeah, no, nah, being I... able to go and uh, put my kit on and get on, go on the pitch. <laughs> very, very true. Who is the TikTok queen of your team? I like to do my TikToks, but I'm not quite there yet. I'm not um, famous or anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, Salma loves the TikToks and Ella. So if you say to them, let's make a TikTok, every time without fail, they're going to be like, yeah, I'm jumping on them. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to make a TikTok. You can't be a TikTok. But we've been I, think they bring good, I think they bring good vibes as well. Yeah, they do. But we've been warned recently, like, doing them in the CFA. They're not happy with <laughs> who, it. <laughs> who is someone that will never get involved in a TikTok? They're just like, no, leave me. Let me do my thing. Hmm... Mm -hmm trying to think because i was gonna say tash but i got her in one recently um someone's just said you love you love a tiktok yeah i do i do i need to I, when i go away i'm gonna make some more get some um oh there we are my friend kira she just said that yeah <laughs> i'd say yeah <laughs> she'll never get in one never never gets in a tiktok no Oh no, she has though. She has, so it can't be her. I don't know who it could be. <laughs> who did um we move away from the from the team and who did this, who did that, who who would get in a TikTok, who wouldn't? When you were growing up, who inspired you to, to play football? So you obviously like spoke about your brothers, but were there any players that you looked up to? 
when I was younger, not really, no. Um, I didn't really think about taking football, you know, like, seriously. Yeah. I literally just had a kick about in the... It all went so quickly. So when I was at Burnley, I was there for about three or four seasons. And one of the guys there was like, I think you need to like, you know, because it was grassroots, yeah. like go to the next, you know, like a, it was an RTC. Yeah. So um, I was like, oh, really? And then I went to Blackburn Trials and I got in from there. And then from there, it just gone so quick that I hadn't really looked up to a footballer in particular. Oh, wow. So it is more so that you were just playing the game for fun and it was something that you enjoyed mm. and then it kind of took off with, without you even really expecting. Yeah, and I've always enjoyed it. So I've never, like, second, you know, like, questioned whether I wanted to carry on. I've just always... It's been my main focus now. Yeah. Were there any other sports that... Are you good at any other sports or is it just football? Like, could you play a round of tennis? Yeah, yeah, I could, yeah. Um, I've done pretty much all the sports when I was younger. Um, what are your top three apart from football, obviously? Dancing. Yeah. No, um, dancing is a sport. Yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. I think so. It is, yeah. Yeah, we, no, like, there's, like, a discussion about it. Dancing is a sport and cheerleading is a sport. Yeah, I'd say dancing. I used to do a lot of swimming, but nice. I will not say I enjoyed it that much. Mm-hmm. Football and when I was in school, I used to play a lot of cricket. You know, like school cricket. Oh, really? But I can't watch cricket. Like it's just a bit boring. But I didn't mind playing it. I think sometimes you can find that though. Like for me, sometimes I might struggle to to watch a particular sport. But I think if you're playing it, it's completely different because you're there and you're active and you're, and you're involved. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, I'd probably say them three really. Oh, and I do like when I go on holiday, beach volleyball. I love that. Beach yeah. volleyball is a good game. I feel like it's one of the, as you said, when you go away, like, it's one of them games you're just like, yeah, I'm going to get involved. Yeah. Like, and I, you, you meet loads of, like, you end up making, like, friends there as well, so. That's definitely. Good. I think another sport as well, table tennis, when you're away and you play table oh, tennis. The competitions and everything. My name is on the paper. I love that. I reckon, I reckon I'd, I'd take you in a game of table tennis, to be fair. We'll have to have a game. We'll see. We have a game and we'll we see who gets the title. We'll all have a game. <laughs> I love that. So, would you rather score a hat-trick and the team loses or no, or you don't score and you get free and you get the win? Oh, that's a selfish one, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I'd love to score. Like, you love scoring a hat-trick, don't you, yeah. really? Um, it depends what game it is. Like, if it's a friendly... Then nice, a competitive love- game. Oh, it's competitive. Oh, right. It's a good I'd rather competitive win. Game. I'd rather <laughs> win. Yeah. I but if, if it's a friendly, you'll take the hat trick. Yeah. <laughs> if it's a friendly, I'll, yeah, I'll take the three goals. Who is your, um, like, your closest mate in, in your team? Like, who's probably your closest three? We won't go for one. Sometimes that could get you in a bit of trouble if you only say one person. Who's your, your top three powers at, at your team? Everyone's mentioning one in the comments now. Millie Davis. Yeah, I know Millie. Uh, She's a good girl. Yeah. Elle, Elle Furlong and yeah. Lauren Wood because we've known each other for a while as well. Uh, I've got more than three though. This is hard. But, yeah, <laughs> what, are you just going to start reeling off the whole team saying I'm pre- this one, this I one, feel this like I'm going to send one out now. But yeah, them three are up there. Who, uh, so who did you say, sorry, that you've, that you've known for a while? Alyssa, who I started playing football with when I was younger. And did you say someone else, or have I just made that up? No, I think you made that up. <laughs> no, I think I, all right, I, bet, I thought you said a different name. But um, so let's talk about let's talk about football boots. I want to know: Are you a player that wears the bright, flashy boots? So say like the nice, big, flashy, out there football boots, or? Are you a kind of player that just stay like a little ninja? So you just wear the, the blacked out boots, you're there, but you're ready to pounce. What do you think I am? I'm going to go for bright boots. Yeah, I am, yeah. I like to um, wear bright boots. I think last, not the boots I've got now, but the ones before, they were just bright pink and oh, they looks good. But, is, that, um, is that your favourite colour, pink? Yeah, yeah. 
but I do like white boots as well. You know, like the pink. Oh, have you seen the Nike? I think the Nike Mercurials or the Nike Vapor. I don't. I can't even remember now. But they're the white, and they're a bit like got some more colours in there, and they've yes. got like a pink sole. Oh, that yeah. They're For me, boots. I love a bright boot. I just think, I just like boots that you just think, yeah, like you'll you'll get noticed in them. Like you yeah, know, someone yeah, would look at your boots before they look at your face. They just stand out as well, and I think if you, I don't know, yeah, when you have something that stands out, people like, you know, they'll bring attention to them as well, you know, and be like, oh, I like your boots, and same with my trainers as well. I like to like wear different trainers. Just something a bit. Different. I love trainers. <laughs> what you think? No, like I love tra like if I honestly have about, I have probably over a hundred pair of trainers. Oh, I don't have that many, but I do like my trainers. It goes, and what you just said as well, you know, when you was like talking about all white boots, my only, I love fresh white boots, but I'd be wear, I'd be scared to wear them. Yeah, they are like that. They do, after a couple of weeks, they don't look as good, do they? And the thing is, I'd put them on, I'd be like, I don't want to put you on, I just want to like hold them and look at them and be like, oh, they're so, they're so fresh. You just want to make like just... the insta, don't you? Just to like wear. Yeah. Just just get them, take a picture of them, show everyone you've got them and keep them in the box and never let them come out again. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> right, so we've got four minutes before kickoff before England take on Canada. Oh, that's so quick, isn't it? I know, right? It fl it flies yes. when you're having fun, when you're having a good old chat. Yeah, that was so that's I'm gonna, I know. I'm gonna ask you one more question. And that question is what is your score prediction for tonight? I reckon it's going to be 3-1 to England. 3-1 to England. I was thinking okay. about this earlier as well, and I, that came to me straight away, and then I was thinking, it might be 2-1, but I'm going to say 3-1. You're going to go with a 3-1, okay. Yeah. Well, if, if you get it right, you can have a special prize that I haven't thought of. Maybe, like, some strawberries or something healthy, aren't there? <laughs> I appreciate that. What do, you, <laughs> what do you think the score's going to be? I think 2-1 England, a late winner for England. Mm, that sounds like a good game. Yeah. I think we do like be... a close game though as well. It's more yeah, definitely. I definitely think it would be a competitive game. So, Tiggy, before we go and before I say goodbye to you, please can you let everyone know where to find you so your socials and yeah thank you for joining me all right it's pretty easy um everywhere is just tiggy gen tiktok instagram twitter i don't there really use go. it that much but i'm gonna start using it and i'm gonna make some more tiktoks um try and get viral and yeah my instagram <laughs> is tiggy gen on it wicked tiggy thank you so much for for joining me it's been an absolute pleasure uh, good luck with the rest of your, your rehab and getting getting back to being fully fit. And, yeah, enjoy the game. Hopefully one of our predictions are right. Well, that's hot. But, yeah, thank you for having me on. <laughs> nice one. Chat. And you. See you later, Diggy. Have All a good right, one. See ya. Bye. Bye. I don't know. How do I end it?